Okay, so today I want to um, kind of go over something that somebody has, uh, or actually not just one person, but several people have been asking me, and that's uh, similar to a video that I made before, but it's just what kind of gear you want to look for on the auction house when you're building a an Archon Wizard, and more specifically, when you're building an Archon, biz uh, an Archon Wizard on a budget, and then um, when you're building an Archon Wizard where you have um, a decent amount of money to spend on your gear. So um, let's go ahead and start. So first of all, we'll go with the helm. Um, if you're building an Archon Wizard with a budget, you definitely want to get the Talarasha's Guise of Wisdom. It is really cheap and it's got lots of int on it. So look for one with like 200 plus int if you can. Um, they're usually around a million, 300,000, there you go. A little pretty cheap. So 200 plus int, uh, five crit, they can actually go up to six crit. They've got a percent life roll and a socket. All for just a couple hundred thousand gold. Um, a lot of people were saying, um, or a couple people were saying, well, why don't you use the Andes, the Andarial's Visage? And actually, well, the Andarial's Visage is a little tiny bit more damage, just like a couple thousand more damage. Uh, you lose your, your massive percent life roll, so you lose that 10%, 11%, 12% life roll, um, which actually ends up being thousands of health. And um, you also lose, or you also take a lot more fire damage as well. So I prefer the Tal Rasha's Guys of Wisdom. And of course, <clears throat> if you're not building an Archon Wizard on a budget, you can go with the Mempo of Twilight. Go for a crit Mempo, of course. It's going to be more DPS, but you know, you're know you talking hundreds of millions of gold for, for a Mempo now. So you're going from 100,000 gold, 200,000 gold, to like 200 billion gold. So it's really, really expensive to go from a, uh, to go from a, uh, a Tal Rasha's to a Mempo. Uh, shoulders are next. Uh, Vile Wards. Um, if you want to go for Vile Wards on a budget, uh, you have to look for really low ints, or let's see, let's go to like 160 ints and let's go to Vitality and see what we can find for the price. 700,000, so that's pretty cheap. You probably get them for a little bit less than that if you go, if you lower the int a bit. If you get rid of the Vitality, they're going to be really cheap. Um, but they're pretty good. Um, they're, they've got the armor, or they've got a guaranteed resist all, guaranteed armor roll on them, which is really, really nice. You can get rare shoulders. However, keep in mind that rare shoulders don't have that guaranteed resist all and armor roll. So if you do look for rare shoulders, um, you do need to look for resist all at least. You don't need to look for the armor, but you do need to get some resist all. Um, and of course, the, the higher your budget goes, you can get a lot more ints, you can get a lot more vitality. Um, but crafted shoulders are always going to be the best. But of course, when you craft shoulders, you're taking you're taking a chance that they might not be so great. So um, those are pretty good for shoulders, vile wards. If you can eventually get to crafted shoulders, that's going to be uh, that's going to be where you want to get to. But of course, that's really dependent on on, on luck. So for the chest armor, the tall rashes is really nice. Um, it's got uh, it's got uh, attack speed on it, int vitality. You definitely want to look for. Um, like 140 int, let's see, at least 140 int, this is for a budget here, let's look for like 170 vitality, and again, they're not very expensive um, uh, for, for cheap one, of course, if you go up to lots and lots of vitality, let's, let's just go to like 170, 250, they get really expensive really quickly, so of course, the, the higher your budget, the more int and the more vitality you can get, you can also get the Zuni Moss's chest armor, which has guaranteed all resistance on it, but it doesn't have that attack speed rule on it. So you are sacrificing DPS for more resistance. So it's definitely it's definitely up to you. Um, for the necklace, you want to get the Talarasha's Allegiance. They're pretty cheap. Um, they're not super cheap, but around a million gold. Um, if you can try to get one with average damage for a budget, that'd be great. Um, they're still around a million gold. This one is pretty good, actually. This is a really good one. Actually, I probably I probably want to buy that for a set, but I'm not going to. That's a really nice one for a million gold. It's got 18 through 31 average damage, 274 and 51 vit. Um, nice stats. Um, you know, of course, this one's decent too, but they get more expensive. And of course, if you can afford it, you definitely want to get a crit chance. But you know, you go up from 1 million to 20 million right away. Attack speed's also really important. Look at the attack speed ones; they're like 5 million. So uh, it gets very expensive. Um, you can craft an amulet, but Again, it's really dependent on RNG, so um, Talarashas is pretty good for an amulet they can buy. Gloves are really, really simple. We'll go to gloves now. Um, gloves, you just want ints, you want vit, you want attack speed, crit damage, crit chance, or any combination of those. Mostly crit chance and crit damage. Um, you know, they're going to be expensive for uh, really good gloves, but you can find some pretty decent gloves for, for a nice price. 30000 for, like, some really cheap gloves. And, of course, if you add some vitality to them, they get more expensive. You know, there you go. You're, they're up to a million already with some vitality. So, gloves, you just want rare gloves. Belt, you definitely want a witching hour. 
they are very expensive, but there's no other belts that can get um, attack speed and crit damage. So they've got two very, very important roles on them that no other belt can get. Um, so definitely get a Witching Hour. If you really can't afford a Witching Hour, you, you can get a rare belt. But Witching Hour is just quite simply going to be the best DPS um, out there for your for your Archon Wizard. Um, so get a Witching Hour if you can afford it. And um, there's really no other belt that compares. Uh, so Witching Hour is definitely the way to go. For a ring, you want one Zuni Pox. Zuni Poxes are pretty cheap on the Auction House. Uh, if you can get one with average damage, that would be better. Um, they're actually not much more expensive. So Zuni Pox with average damage. Of course, you're going to get the Zuni Boots as well, so you get that two set bonus for 130 int. And of course, if you add like crit chance and, and stuff to the Zuni Pox, they get a lot more expensive. So um, as you get more money, you can you can add more more uh, more of the trifecta stats to it. And for the other ring, um, you probably just want a rare ring. Um, you just look for int vit, crit chance, crit damage, and of course, as you get more money, you can get average damage. Um, and you can get more crit chance, you can get more crit damage, and those kinds of stats. So, those are those are what you're looking for for a ring. Um, and then pants. Um, if you're on a budget, you want to get rare pants with just int vitality. You get nice rare pants with a with like um, you know 120, 130 plus vitality. All res, of course, and uh, two sockets. You can get really, really, really nice pants for you know a couple hundred thousand. Let's actually take a look here. Let's go to 50. Let's go to 140 vitality. Let's go to 80 int. See what we can find. So 150,000 for these pants. Really, really nice budget pants. You know, like these right here for 250,000. Pretty good. Um, you know, anything like that. These ones are probably even better because they got armor on them. You get really nice rare pants for budget. If you can afford it, get Inna's Temperance because they have the attack speed and they have one crit on them as well. But of course. Um, they're going to be a lot more expensive, and you need to get ones with really high int and vitality as well. So you know, if you look, at, if you take a look at the in, a, in his pants, they're going to be really, really expensive. Let's see, like 70 plus int and vitality. You're looking at 50 million. Uh, the bracers, you just want Lacuni prowlers. Uh, just get some crit Lacunis. Um, if you can afford it, get some uh, get some int on them. But of course, they get really expensive really quickly. So um, six crit Lacunis are going to be expensive, looking at a couple million without any stats on them, and of course if you add int to 6 crit Lacunis, they go up to like 20 million plus, so um, if you can afford it, get Lacunis um, with 6 crit, but if you can't, then lower the crit a bit, and kind of work with your budget there. And then of course the boots, you just want Zuni boots um, for any any Archon Wizard, so you get that poison damage, which ends up being a ton of DPS. Try to get really high int, um, try to get some, some vitality as well. Um, if you can afford it, get all resistance, but I prefer getting a really high vitality roll than getting like a, a really insane all resistance roll. Because again, here we go, these are some nice ones here for like 13 million. If you put all resistance on them, they automatically... Oh, actually, these ones aren't too bad. Yeah, they only have 12 all resistance though, 11 all resistance, so those are terrible all res rolls. So as soon as you add like, you know, 60 all res or something like that, you know, they go to 300 million. So you might as well get some, some really nice vitality ones with a good intro. And uh, definitely get the Zuni boots. Offhand, 100% chance get the Tri Source. Um, tri Source is a really, really cheap. You can get an awesome Tri Source for a couple hundred thousand. Uh, you just want uh, you want average damage on the Tri Source. Here we go, 224 average damage, perfect. Like something like this is just fine for a couple hundred thousand. Uh, of course, if you can afford more um, for your budget, get a really high int roll on the Tri Source. I think they can go up to 300 or so int. Um, the cheap ones are only going to have like 100, 150. But if you can afford it. You know, here you go. Here's a bunch of tri sources with like 250 plus int. You know, something like this. Really, really nice. Um, really expensive, of course. But uh, if you can afford it, then uh, then definitely get uh, get a tri source with int. Maybe a little bit of vitality if if you can find it. But that's not the most important thing. And then your weapon. Uh, your weapon is really, really simple. You just want a black damage weapon. Um, let's see, let's go to weapons here. We want all weapons, one-handed. You want a black damage weapon, um, you want lifesteal and a socket. If you're going for a budget, you just want lifesteal and you want a socket. And you could find a really, really nice weapon for like 800k or something like that. Let's go to 800,000. Here we go, perfect. Like eight, This is perfect for, for a budget. 1100 DPS, 2.4 lifesteal and a socket. Excellent, that's all you need. It needs to be black damage, which means it can't have elemental damage. It used to have minimum damage and maximum damage on it. So if you look at the uh, DPS, it's a, it's a black damage weapon. It, there's no elemental modifier. If we go down, we'll find an elemental modifier somewhere. Here we go. Here's an elemental modifier weapon. You can see it's got arcane damage on it instead of uh, physical damage on it. You don't want that as an Archon Wizard. You're going to lose a ton of damage from using a, um, 
an elemental modifier on your weapons. So definitely get a physical damage weapon. Um, everybody calls them black damage weapons. Um, as your budget goes up, you can afford crit damage on your weapon. Um, here we go. We can add some crit damage. And of course, here's some weapons with a lot more crit damage on them. Uh, they do get very expensive, but you know, that's the way it is. Um, and of course, if you if you don't want life steal, you can always get a weapon without life steal on them. Yeah, they are going to be pretty expensive. Um, you know, you can get an Echoing Fury if you really want to. Um, that's what I have. I, I'm using an Echoing Fury. But again, the only problem with Echoing Furies is they only have two random rolls. So you can't get a, a socket, crit damage, and lifesteal. You can only get two of those three. So you get a socket and crit chance. You get a socket and lifesteal. You could get um, you could get crit chance and lifesteal. Or I think that's those are, those are the three combinations that you could get. So you can't actually get all three. You can't get a socket, crit damage, and lifesteal. You can only get two of those three. So there you go. That's uh, that's everything. I don't think I missed any piece of gear. Um, I know I have a video similar to this, but this goes into a bit more detail. So if you guys are interested in building an Archon set, um, hopefully this helped out a little bit. Um, I build several Archon sets every day on live stream uh, for around 5 to 20 million gold, and they can all farm MP5 without any issues. They all have between 150 and 250,000 damage, you know, 40,000 health, 800 plus resist all, all those stats. So Archon is really easy to build. It's not an expensive set to gear, uh, to gear out. And uh, it's really easy as well. It's a really fun wizard spec to play because you don't have to pay too much attention when you're actually playing. So it makes it perfect for live streaming. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, definitely don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodideagaming. And, of course, make sure to check out live streams every day. Oh, Lacuni Prowler sold. Nice. Um, Twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. Uh, make sure to, to follow the stream and check it out every day as I am live pretty much every day. And twitter.com slash goodideagaming. So if you want to follow for, for updates there, that'd be great too. Thanks again, everybody. Hopefully this video helped out. And we'll see you all later. Peace.